Hey everybody, I'm Dino Monoxilis. I'm Dom Liberati. And welcome to the first installment of SV Tea Time. SV Tea Time. SV Tea Time. Uh, what is that old, crusty, awesome looking thing you got right there? I was gonna say, you point to the amp, <laughs> you point to me. <laughs> so this is a 1969 SVT. This is the original Blue Line 1969 SVT that came out of Linden, New Jersey. You know, as, as, as we all know, man, this is like the holy grail of bass amps. Um, it's 300 watts, all two power, two channels, channel one and channel two, both discrete channels. The SVT was introduced in summer of 1969 at the Summer NAM show. And the whole idea behind it was Ampig wanted to come out with the biggest, baddest, badass yeah. bass amp that the world has ever seen. And, and this is what they came up with. If you think about this defined how live music recorded music, just for once, bass players could finally be heard. Yeah, yeah. And now this was tied to the Rolling Stones, their first American tour, right? Yeah, in a lot of ways, like the Rolling Stones were responsible for kind of putting Ampeg on the rock and roll map. When they came over for their Give Me Shelter tour, uh, all their amps were wired for UK voltage. So when they got to the United States, they realized these aren't gonna work here. Ampeg supplied them with the first eight prototypes of SVTs. For their for their North American tour, they rolled out just playing SVTs as backlines. That's incredible. This is all about tone. It's man. all about this, tone. This is like I said, you've heard this in a million recordings. Yeah, so, actually, let's hear some of that. Yeah, so I'm plugged into channel one. So wow. it gets real gnarly yeah. and nasty. And it's got like just the amount of, right amount of warmth and grit and you like can close your eyes, you hear that and you just feel like you're in a stadium. Because, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean. I mean, you can, you know. But then I, you do that, yeah, it's like a modern. I get a tone, modern like, sound, exactly. And this was made in 1969, it's yeah. incredible. Yeah, it's, it's almost as old as I am. It's incredible, almost. <laughs> <laughs> so. Why don't you tell the viewers what you have behind you? This is our Heritage 50th Anniversary SVT. So 2019 is the 50th anniversary of the SVT, the original Blue Line, 1969. Um, so we wanted to capture that mojo in this new one. And you, like you said, these are two channels. And I think most bassists forget about channel two. Right, They, right. they aren't using both channels. Um, so we wanted to actually really utilize channel two as well. So channel one is voiced like the 1969 and channel two is voiced like the other Holy Grail era of tone, which is the mid seventies, uh, the 1975 Magnavox era SVT. Right. We had a bunch of our artists come in and we set up a whole, like we had the 69, yeah. we had the mid seventies, we had a couple of modern SVTs, um, like Rudy Sarzo and Eva Gardner and Tim LaFave and all these high level SVT guys, yeah. gals as well. Uh, came in and, and kind of gave us their feedback on what they liked about certain eras of the SVT. Absolutely, and the whole the whole thing with this was making sure that we were true to Ampeg tone and true to the 1969, but also this was the pioneer of bass tone in 1969. Right. So we wanted this to be the pioneer of bass tone for 2019. Now you have the best of all worlds of SVT, but we also have modern amenities to make it the 2019 SVT. So why don't you tell us about the modern amenities that are on the back of the amp? Yeah, we have Neutrik speak on outs. Uh, we have preamp out, power amp in. These side cup handles are the more modern SVT style, but yeah. we've kept to the old school lowercase logo. Nice. 300 watts, all tube power. We've even paid attention to how loud the fan is, which is slightly irrelevant because you're gonna have this thing cranked. Right. But it's a much quieter fan now. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, we could hear that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Balance XLR line out, transformer balance line out. Yep. Uh, one other thing that we've done too that Ampeg hasn't done in a long time, in fact, since like 1969, 1970, is an etched front panel. Right. You know, I know we had the VR and we still make the VR and all that, but that's, you know, that that's a painted blue line panel. I mean, we went through painstakingly yeah. huge processes to find somebody that that we could get this etched panel yeah. because we wanted it to be this guy. And then on the back, we have etched brand new artwork uh, to denote the heritage uh, line of this amplifier as well. That's right, Yeah, that's right. And as we all know, you know, any of our heritage products, including the heritage 50th anniversary is made here in the US. Yep. So enough talking, do you want me to play? Yeah, man, and, yeah, and I'll shut up and you play. Oh, you shut up, you know. Gonna, <laughs> I'll just, it's the tea, it's just, it's the caffeine. Mm-hmm. 
Sings a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Now you're in channel one. You're in the 69 channel. Channel one. It gets gritty. It gets like right up in your face. Yeah, it's all flat right now. Uh, that's about three for volume setting. Let's put it at noon. Just get kind of crazy. Hear that grit. Right, yeah. So that's, that's a little, little extreme setting, but right. Yeah. And like I like I was saying earlier, you know, that's one eight ten cabs. Could you picture that with two eight ten cabs? Yeah. You know, um, can we hear what the seventy five channel sounds like? Absolutely. So yeah, seventy five. It's going to be a little cleaner, a little more headroom. Uh, I have the ultra low on. It's just per taste, but I really this is to me is like that ultimate clean rock tone. <laughs> Yep, it still has that SVT sound, but it's a more absolutely more modern sounding SVT, if you will. So we've uh, essentially we've we've breathed new life into Channel Two because yeah. a, a lot of guys didn't know about Channel Two. Now there's a trick you can do with an SVT with the 69 or or any any two channel SVT, and that's jumping the channels. So in in this 69, I'm going to jump out of Channel One into Channel Two, and what that allows me to do now is. So I'm gonna dial in all my highs and mid range in channel one. So this is just channel one. So that's channel one, just highs and mids. Now if I want more lows, I've got channel two dialed in just bass, trebles rolled off. So. So I've got the highs up here and then yeah. you can just bring the lows in. Now, if I take channel one out, that's all the highs and mids taken out. So that's, that's what you can do with, with the 69, but yeah, with the so Heritage 50th. We're gonna jump and blend, but now we have two differently voiced channels. Right. So we're gonna take the ultra low and ultra high. I'm gonna get those two extremes from channel two since it's a little cleaner. And then I'm gonna get the grit from channel. There you the go. Grit in the mid range yep. from channel one. Yep. So this is channel two on its own. And we're gonna ride in channel one here with the grit. The more like mid-range honkiness. Yeah. 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 So now you're getting the best of both eras. You're getting the 69 as well as the 75. In yeah. There. Yeah. And this is channel one all alone on that. Great tone much, on its much own. Much darker. But yeah. They're yeah. both useful tones. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Rudy, Rudy Sarza was in for this whole Ampeg uh, SVT shootout. And he was showing me how basically back in the day, you know, you couldn't, with bass on records, if too much bass content or low frequency content, it would skip the needle. So. He actually showed me something that kind of gets that cool 70s uh, classic rock tone. You just, the bass cut, I think a lot of basses shy away from the bass yeah, cut. Yeah, right? yeah. Why, why do you want to <laughs> cut, yeah. cut your bass? But it's such a cool tone. cuts through a mix oh absolutely and yeah. you're still i mean you got plenty of low end there yeah man. it's not it's you know it's not uh, big bottoms but it's close <laughs> of course not of course <laughs> that's cool hey let's do this let me play through the 69 and compare to channel one on the 50th yeah and see how close yeah, they are right so I mean, considering two different bases, but yeah. you're on your P bass pickup. I'm on my P bass pickup. This is all I get. This all set up for passive, and obviously two different cabinets. But yeah, but I mean that's pretty spot on for not being true apples to apples. It's pretty damn close. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, we got these two SVTs. You want to play together? Yeah, man. Let's let's do it. Mm -hmm. 